Wednesday. Today, we are going to start reading a story from our Super Kids books. Our story starts on this page. This is page seven. So make sure you have this with you because you're going to need it so that you can read it in just a minute. Before we start reading, though, it's important for us to look at some of the words that are in our story. I put some of the words up here on our board. Wherever you see a word underlined in red, that means it's one of our memory words and you can't sound it out. You just need to remember what it looks like and what it sounds like. So let's get started. This first word is a new memory word for us today. Let's spell it out together. L I K E. That spells like. Can you say that with me? Like. Let's spell it one more time and say it one more time. L I K E. Like. Let's look at some of our other words. Here's another memory word of. Ooh, now, this is a word that I can sound out. Let's try it. Pup. I. Pick. Remember, when you see that CK together, it makes a k sound. Let's do it one more time. P, I, K, Pick. S, I, K, Sick. Now, this is a long one, but I know you can do it. Let's do it together. K, A, N, T, S, T, Contest. Contest. G, R, N, Grin. Here's an old memory word. This one is N-O and that spells no. And this is another longer one, but we can do it. Ready? Problem. 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 Now let's do those all together again, just like how we usually do in class. Ready? Like of p ik Pick, stick, sick, contest, contest, grin, no, problem, problem. Now I'm going to point all over the place. Follow along with me. Like, grin, contest, problem, no, of, pick, sick, like, no, contest, problem. So today, all of those words are going to show up in the first part of the story we read today. Remember that right now, Icky is the super noodle. That means he gets, he's the boss of the super kids. And he decided that the super kids should put on a little skit. A skit is another word for a short play. So remember, we in an audio you guys listened to yesterday, Edabetta decided she wanted to be the queen, and Sal was going to be the king, and Cass was going to be the princess. Those are the three characters you are going to see in the first part of our story. The play is actually divided into three parts. Those are called acts. Can you say that with me? Acts. Each act is part of the play. So today we are going to read Act 1, the first part of the play. When we look at our story, I see some pictures by the words. Right here, I see a picture of Edabetta, and she's dressed up as the queen. That tells me that Edabetta, the queen, is going to say these words here. Then I see a picture of Sal dressed up as the king. That tells me that Sam is going to say these words here when he's pretending to be the king. So whenever you see that picture next to the words like that, that tells you which character in the play is speaking. So your job, boys and girls, is to read Act 1. You might want to read it with mom or dad or grandma or grandpa or maybe an older brother and sister. But make sure you are just doing your best job to sound out the words, break it up into chunks, and then when you're done reading, I'm going to read it for you. So I'm going to have you pause the video now and read it. Okay, so you should have read Act 1. Act 1 is called The Problem. Say that with me. 
Act 1, The Problem. Our play is called The Glum Princess. Do any of you know what the word glum means? Glum is another word for sad. Glum is another word for sad. So let's get reading. The Glum Princess, Act 1, The Problem. Queen says, the princess is a problem. The king says, is the princess sick? The queen says, no, the princess is not sick. The princess is sad and glum. When I look at this picture, I see the king and the queen worrying about the princess. They, I know they're worried because their faces look kind of sad and they're wondering what's going on here. Let's keep reading. The king asks, will gifts help the princess? The queen says, no, the princess has lots of fun gifts, but the princess is still glum. The king says, let's put on a pet contest. The princess can pick an animal for a pet. The queen says, the princess will grin at last. I look at this picture and I see the princess looks like she has a lot of toys. But when I look at Cass, who's dressed up as the princess, she looks sad or glum. I can tell because she's holding her hand in her face and she's looking kind of sad. She has a sad expression on her face. Icky says, but will the princess like a pet? Hey, there is one of our sight words, like. Let's practice that sight word together. Will the princess like a big pet? Will the princess like an odd pet? Will the princess like a fat pet? Those are all sorts of different kinds of pets, aren't they? So after reading, I have learned, that's the end of Act 1, I have learned that the princess is sad or glum, and the king and queen would like to have a pet contest so that the princess can pick a pet and maybe the pet will make the princess feel better. I want you to think, what kind of pet would you bring to a pet contest? Think in your head for just a minute. If I had to bring a pet to a pet contest, I think hmm, I would bring a penguin, kind of like our friend, Mr. Pebbles. I really like penguins. I think they're cute and I like how they waddle. And I think a penguin would be a fun pet to bring to a pet contest. What do you think? Today, I'm going to give you a little journal activity. So in your journals today, I want you to answer a question for me. What pet would you bring for the pet contest? Think in your head. This can be a real pet, or if you're feeling creative, you can make up your own pet. I want you to tell me one sentence that says what pet you would bring then I want you to write one or two sentences telling you why you would bring that pet. And don't forget, up at the top, make sure you draw a picture of the pet so that I can see what that pet would look like. All right. Thank you, boys and girls, for listening. I hope you have a great and happy Wednesday.